Coach, it's game week. I've got the basketball. You ready to go? Well, if you've got the basketball, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, no indictment on your game. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. I got the microphone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and you're really good at that. I think it's uh, for every head coach around the country right now, it's a little bit of uh, treacherous waters. We're not sure what to expect from our group. We all have a sense of optimism, and um, I, I'm in that same boat. But I love our team. They're an uh, unbelievable group to coach. They're, they have high character. They're funny. They, they bring it every day. They're competitive. We just have these. Uh, it, it's our system that is an acquired taste, and it takes a while to, to get good at it. And I'm in a hurry to get good at it. So we need some patience. But that might be why God has me in coaching. As opposed to broadcasting? I think you could do that, too. No, you need patience for that as well, though. Yeah. So this team last year obviously went to the post postseason, as I like to call it, got three extra games. Do you see a residual effect from that experience last March? Yeah, I, I do actually. I, I think uh, you know to win however many games we won, I, I think that's an accomplishment. But I also think that our guys had a bad taste in their mouths. We we didn't play well in the conference tournament. We started really poorly uh, against a good Radford team that. We'll, we'll take advantage of every opportunity that you give them. So we were in that locker room in, uh, in Rock Hill, South Carolina, disappointed and, and discouraged. And after having a season where you were 14 and four in the league, to walk away with that result, I think would have been, would, would have been difficult. So we won a couple of games and the CIT, um, especially uh, did a good job at home, had, had uh, a nice following there, that was neat. Uh, and then we lost to a good UMBC team when we just we ran out of gas and they were a good team. But I, I feel like there was a sense of optimism as well as, a, I think, a, a, a reckoning that, man, it's really hard to win in the postseason. And, uh, and we got to keep adding layers throughout the entire season, not just finish when the conference season's over. A lot of people have expectations for this team, none bigger than in your locker room. How do you keep the expectations separated from having to improve each and every day? You know, I mean, sure, they, I'm sure they read it. I'm sure they see it. That's just part of life. But our, our expectation is to just get better today. And I think when you, when you go into that mantra, and you have to do it as a believer as well, you know, that today is the only day you can focus on. And I think this group has some maturity about it that realizes, look, it's the beginning of November. Our season's just starting. Uh, and whatever the expectations are, we can't get crippled by that. Because we, gotta, we very much have to be interested in the process over the result, believing that the results will come if we honor the process. You're always talking about have a defensive mindset. Where is this team with that as we talk here in early to mid-November? Yeah, it depends on which day you ask me. Um, after Saturday's scrimmage against Hampton, uh, it wouldn't have been a very positive answer. Um, but I, I do think our guys, we, we reel it in when we know it's gotten away from us a bit. And again, this is the third year in our system in the pack. So I hope we've improved. And I think that we've shown some, some semblance of, of having a pretty good defensive team with our depth and some added size. But we still have a ways to go. And I know it, and our coaches know it. And I think our guys know it, but have to be reminded of it on occasion. How about offensively? What do you want this identity to be scoring the basketball? I want it to go in the hoop. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. Yeah, that's a good identity. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, we've got some some versatile pieces. we got some guys that can score. Um, I, I like being able to play inside and out. In the last couple of years, we've had to play outside a lot. So uh, hopefully we have a healthy balance. And But again, I, it depends on your opponent. It depends on how you're playing, your confidence level. And uh, I, I just hope we... We always operate out of a deep sense of gratitude that we're excited to be here. We, we get to, to play and to work at the best university in the country. And I, I think when you, when you approach it like that, I think your enjoyment level goes up. And, uh, and I think that is always healthy. Coach, good to hear these basketballs bouncing again. Have fun on Friday, okay? Thanks, Alan. Good to see you.